when you talk about theories of origins, you need a theory that can overcome the causal hurdles, right? So that's what causal hurdles are. They require causal solutions. So when you look at neo-Darwinian theory in any of its incarnations, it really doesn't have much of any way to make anything new. And all the causal hurdles we've talked about require a lot of stuff in place, organized just right, connected just right, and orchestrated just right, or they don't work. So that's, that's a huge causal hurdle. What, what in Darwinism can overcome that? And the answer is mm, nothing. There's no theory of the generative. And you can read the third way neo-Darwinists and they'll, they'll admit that Darwinism has no way to overcome these causal hurdles. That's why they're looking for something new, a new third way. The theory of biological design, like Darwinism, has specific mechanisms that each have capabilities and limitations. And when you look at the theory of biological design, which is, you know, in some sense, it's sort of nascent. It's still early times. But when you look at the causal forces there, there are things like, uh, I need an intentional actor. I need somebody that can overcome these causal hurdles. And that requires intention, and it requires the ability to act. Right, so when you compare these two theories side by side, you see that the neo-Darwinism is really, uh, the way I like to say it is it's proven everything it will ever prove which isn't actually very much, and it's exhausted. It has nothing else to offer. Uh, when you look at the theory of biological design, that, that means that there was a designer who intended these outcomes. Maybe not exactly the way we see them, but that intended to build in the rules, the capabilities to adapt to situations. And so the, in the new theory, organisms have the ability to adapt to changes in their environment. The environment isn't changing the organism. The environment only constrains the organism. So the organism itself either has to be able to adapt to the environment, to a change in the environment, or it will die. It's a pretty simple equation. It, the only way it can adapt is if it has built-in mechanisms for handling that change. So every organism then has a range of pre-designed uh, environments that it can uh, dwell in.